Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some Puyo Puyo Champions. This game just came out, um, I got it in the new releases tab in the eShop. Uh, I believe basically what they've done is they've taken the Puyo Puyo half out of Puyo Puyo Tetris, and made it into a separate game and enhanced it a bit. So it doesn't have the Tetris anymore, but I believe it has a better Puyo Puyo than the previous game. Or something like that. I haven't actually played it, I don't know what to expect. Uh, we're starting it now, and let's find out. Well, this looks familiar. Okay, so we have Pio Pio Fever and Pio Pio 2 modes. I don't know what that means. I assume that those are previous games that the modes are based on. These options do look fairly similar to the ones in Pio Pio Tetris, except for the absence of Tetris. Uh, the loading... Yeah, this all looks very familiar. Uh, so let's start it up and have a quick look, see what it's got on offer. Mm, Alright. Well, yeah, this looks very familiar. <laughs> it looks like it doesn't have an adventure mode, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, the previous game did have one of those, and that was pretty cool. Uh, so it's got, uh, it's got CPU, it's got local and online multiplayer. What have we got in options here? a lot more options with my icons. I can change all sorts of stuff here. What frame we have, what characters displayed. It looks like they've updated the character artwork, which looks really nice. Uh, do I have Draco? Yes, I do. <laughs> mm. Draco and Taurus said trans rights. <laughs> yeah, these look like new artworks, and there's some more characters here that I don't know. I don't know who that is. Or that. Or that. I know, I know Rulu. Uh, Fina. Draco's still in the game, so we're all good. Uh, it's location. A lot of USAs at the beginning here. It's a bit annoying. Ridiculous. It's not gonna let me look at like a list. I just have to scroll one by one. Okay, there we go <laughs> um, Let's see it looks like there isn't necessarily a colorblind option in this game either Alphabet is available out of the box so you could switch to that which would be helpful uh, It seemed to work pretty well in the previous game in my opinion I'll leave it on aqua um... Yeah, sure whatever Um. We got stats, we got theater. We have got an options menu here. Let's have a look. Vibration, everything is on by default. Uh, we can change the controls. It has all the same options as the other game. I showed these in the previous video, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so that's pretty much the same by the looks of things. It looks like one of the main draws is that there's a lot more familiar Puyo Puyo characters in this game. Maybe? Ah, uh, okay, so what we got here? Clear Puyos and drop garbage Puyos on your opponent. If a Puyo reaches the X, you lose. Cancel out garbage Puyos to build your fever gauge from here to the X you lose. Okay, so these are clearly slightly different rules to the game I'm familiar with. But I'm not sure they're that different. Um, let's try going into just a battle mode and see how we go. Uh, there we go. Okay, what characters have we got to work with here? Uh... I recognize about half the cast, and then there's some more people over here that I don't recognize. They look cute, but I don't really know them. And there's no adventure mode in this game, so I don't really think I will get to know them, because there's no cutscenes, probably. Hmm. Ha! I won't lose. That's a different voice. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, let's pick someone new. My name is CL. Yeah, I know your name is CL. That already. Okay, so there's a bit more information here about all the different options and stuff. Uh, you can customize here. Uh, the handicap system is very similar, but there's a couple more levels this time. 
I can't remember there are only three in the other game. There's a lot more here. Uh, and there's some more options for customizing various things by the looks of things, so that's cool. But the actual gameplay, I'm guessing, is fairly One similar to before. Easy peasy. But yeah, Draco's voice is, in is completely different. It's weird. <laughs> Did they have someone different voicer in this game? I'm guessing probably. It didn't sound like that in Pure Pure Tetris. But my calculations. One. Angel Lady over there's pretty cute. One. I'm guessing she says one because I got one like one. clear rather than more. One. This doesn't Two. add up. Sorry, you never stood a chance. This sound is, this, these voices are weird. Okay, that is very, very easy. I'm guessing I picked one of the easier opponents to fight against. One! Two! Stop! Yeah, it looks like they just say the name of how many chains they're doing instead of saying catchphrase, which is a bit weird. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. Um... One! Two! One! Maybe it's different depending on the game mode? I don't know. One! Two! Stop! One! Two! Stop! This doesn't add up! Sorry! You never stood a chance! Yeah. Okay, this this isn't this just doesn't have nearly as much character as the other version of the game, honestly. Like Puyo Puyo Tetris, the characters had little like dialogue lines when they won, and they said different things during combat. And I don't know, this isn't this is not making a good first impression, I have to say. Uh, let's try playing as is Ringo in this game. I'm in let's this try to win. As... Ringo sounds I'm different. In this to win. We'll see if she says you know sine and cosine and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna pick someone else who has recognizable catchphrases. Let's go! Amity. One! Okay, she says one. One! Wait, that voice isn't any different. I'm a different character. Why didn't my voice change? One. One. Okay, that's weird. One. Two. One hundred percent. Whoa. Hmm. I'm confused. <laughs> One. Maybe I need to change a setting or something so it actually uses character catchphrases. Let's see. Maybe I, maybe I missed something when I was going to the settings earlier. Uh, yeah, that's just my icon. Just my default character. Sound effects on, yeah? Hmm. Maybe over here there was something that I didn't miss? Didn't I end spot? Voices, I can change them to Japanese. Hmm, maybe they just didn't put as many voice clips in this game. That's really disappointing, because that was a pretty charming part of the previous game. Um, there's clearly no story mode or one. anything. One, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, is this what we appear is normally like? Because that's not nearly as fun as having them say, like, Sine, cosine, tangent, algorithm. Thirteen, fourteen, seventeen, yahoo, twenty, yahoo, yahoo, sine, cosine. There they are. Tangent, algorithms. Okay, so her actual lines are here, but they're like after saying all the numbers. 
That's really weird. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. Um, let's try playing Puyo Puyo Fever. Maybe it does it better. Like it does the voices the way I would like it to, rather than just saying numbers. It looks like this has different rules. You can see that um, different uh, characters have different drop combinations. You can see Draco's got like two 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 two, and then like a different shape, and it depends on which character you're playing as what moves you get, basically. I'm not explaining that well, but yeah, there's clearly some more rules going on in this version. Uh, so let's try... Uh, I don't know. Let's go with Draco. I won't lose. And... It's potion time! Which? Hopefully this mode has some more voices? Uh, maybe? I mean, the voices are there, it's just not using them for some reason. One! Two! See? One, two. It's really boring. <laughs> you wouldn't think that would be a huge one, impact on the game, but two, it kind of is. It's just kind one, of not fun that way. Two. Just having them say numbers instead of like spell names and stuff. It's just it's not as good. One. One. Two. One. Two. Right, I guess it's more helpful if you're trying to learn the game to understand that, you know, you're trying to get chains and stuff, but it's just it's just not not as good presentation wise. It really baffles me because this game two. is so big on having Meteor excellent shower. presentation. Hey, what just happened? I, I guess One. she used some sort of special move. Two. But I didn't see. Meteor shower. Hey, it happened again. <laughs> One. 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 One, one, two, meteor shower. One. Maybe you just hey. get meteor shower at three or something. I don't know. Hmm. One. So far, I definitely prefer one. playing through your Tetris over this game, not just because of the Tetris part. One, two, one, meteor shower. One, one. Hey. One! Two! Meteor shower! Let's try this! One! One! Two! Three! Move One! Game. Here Almost it there. comes! Okay, I'm in fever mode now. I just want to do that. One! Two! Two! Three! Three! Dragon Four. Tail! Gravity ah. Slam! <laughs> okay, this is when they start saying One. the catchphrase. Two! Three! Three! Three. Three. Dragon Claw! Star Blast! One, two, three, four, five! One, hear me roar! Two, Meteor Shower! Why me? Aww! So weird. <laughs> that all you got? Uh, compared to the original, like the previous game, this presentation is just so much stranger. I don't know if this is what Puyo Puyo games are normally like. The only one I played was Puyo Puyo Tetris, so maybe this is normal, but it just doesn't appeal to me nearly as much. One, two, one, two, one, meteor shower! Am I supposed to press like a different button to make it do a meteor shower one. or something? Or is she just better at the game than I am? One. I have no idea. One. 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 I mean, I know Meteor Shower is one of the witch moves, and I'd be doing something else, like Dragon Fire or something. But one. I don't. I don't know. I don't think one, this game has one, a lesson mode either, like two, the previous one did. One, meteor shower! Two. It's kind of a problem because I don't really understand this game as much as the previous one. <laughs> one! 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 Two! Here it comes! Okay, 
Yeah, I'm in phase mode for some reason. Uh, One, two. Uh, that was bad. One, two. Fire breath. Rawr. One. Rawr. One, two, three. Dragon tail. Rawr. One, two. One. Let's try this. One. One, two, three, four. Gravity slam! <laughs> hey! One, two, three, four, five. Star One. blast! <laughs> Why me? Yeah, this 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 is not impressing me nearly as much as Puyo Puyo Tetris did. I don't know if that's just because I played that game first and it made like such Let's a strong go. impression, but I don't know. I just don't think it works as well. Hmm. There are a lot, a lot more like presumably recognizable characters from the Puyo Puyo series rather than brand new Tetris characters, but I don't I don't know these people, so it's not that exciting. <laughs> Um, Are you prepared? Sure am. I don't know. I, I I mean, I'm guessing this is more like how Puyo Puyo games normally work, and Puyo Puyo Tetris was an outlier, but it was so good that it seems like they should have just kept doing that. One. So. Two. I don't know. I don't know. I could just be foolish. <laughs> One, two, uh. one, two, whoa! One, 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 one. You're really supposed to be always getting chains, which I think is a bit One. excessive. <laughs> Two. One. One. Two. One. Two. Thrashing time! Whoa! One. 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 Two. One, two, whoa! One, two, thanks for waiting! One, thanks for waiting. two, <laughs> it's over One. for you! Is that a move I just did? I don't know. One. It looks almost exactly the same, but it plays so differently. I don't know if it's supposed to play differently, or if this is... Like, it's it's, it's probably using the same engine, but it, it just isn't the same. It's just very, very different, and I'm a bit taken aback, I guess. Um... One. I don't know if it's bad? I mean, I assume, I assume it's, like... A good game that people enjoy, and this, this is how the earlier Puyo Puyo games played. I just. One! It's just so weird to me. <sighs> it's, just, it's just weird. One! Two! I'm wishing time! One! I seem to keep getting garbage no matter how many chains I get, so. 
I don't know if they've changed the chaining rules compared one, to the other games or two, something. One, two, one, two. Or if I'm just bad at the game? I don't know. One, two. Uh. One. 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 Two. One. 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 Two. Thanks for winning. One. No. One. Two. No. <sighs> Someone owes me an apology. Yeah. I just like some of some of the more unique voice clips are there, but they're not used nearly as much as they are in PPT. And I don't understand why, because that's part of that game's charm. And all the voices are different, which weirds me out, considering how similar these games are in every other way. What? Apart from, you know, playing completely differently, that's also a difference between them. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. It's just... it's strange. It's a strange game. One! One, two, the controls are nice and tight. It controls pretty much the same way as PPT did, um, and it seemed to have all the same control modes, so that's not something to be one. worried about or anything. One, if you were, uh, it's just one. I think the rules are just different two. in a way that I don't quite one. understand. Two. I'll have to check if there is a tutorial mode in this game because. One. I kinda need one. Thanks for waiting! Uh. One! One! Two! Uh. Someone owes me an apology! Yeah! Yeah. Okay, let's just jump back and see. Uh, we've got... There, is, there isn't like a lessons mode on the menu, but there is manual, which I could have a look at, I suppose. Let's see what that's got. Uh, game manual? Yeah. It looks like it's just a website that I'm being taken to. Uh, controls? I, I don't know. I just want to... I assume the game modes are... Okay. Uh, Alright, back. Go to solo and see if it tells me how the modes work in this version. Uh, doesn't really help me, but okay. Match settings, customize game settings. Multiply. No, this isn't really telling me how it, how it differs from the game I'm familiar with. And there's no interactive tutorial like there is in the game I'm familiar with. Which is a bit of a problem. Hmm. Maybe these tips give you some information? Build up chains to get the first strike on this and counting your appearance attacks. I don't really know what that means. Hmm. I, I'm very confused by this game, I have to say. Um. Someone else who's cute. They're all pretty cute. The water's fine. The mermaid. I'd like to be her friend. La -da 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 -da. <laughs> the beautiful music. It is a different voice, but everyone oh, no! has said one and two instead of having unique voice clips. I don't know why. M maybe the idea is just encouraged to build up longer chains so that you get the unique two. voice clips. I, I don't know. One, one, two. It sounds weird, but 
you know, maybe that's how bigger video games normally work. Except for PPT, which I love. <laughs> one, two, one, two. One, one, two, three. I love the water. One. Well, you're a mermaid. Of course you do. <laughs> I like the water, I needed to live. Me. <laughs> it's also weird that your icon is always Draco Centaurus, no matter which character you're actually playing as. I guess that's for online play, so you can identify people by their icons, but... It looks weird when you're playing offline like this. And it doesn't just, you know, actually show your current character there. One. Two. Oh no! One. One. Two. Oh no! One. Two. One. Oh no! One. One. Hmm. I cannot get over those voice clips. Let's just... In, in, in PPT, everyone has unique catchphrases that they say every time you do something good, and it sounds really, like, fun and dynamic one. and engaging. In this game, they just say one. <laughs> one. one. I, don't, I don't get it. Two. It's oh, no. weird. One. Two. One. Swim with me. Help! One. Also, there's one. no Tetris in this game, like... That's a pretty big omission. <laughs> I mean, I expected that, but there aren't that many Puyo Puyo modes either. Like, there were more Puyo Puyo modes in Puyo Puyo Tetris. Which had all the different challenge modes and various other stuff that wasn't in this game. So, I don't know. I mean, I know this is supposed to be a smaller game to begin with, but it feels very limited. And I'm not that impressed. Um... I haven't tried playing online, but I'm guessing it's the basic, basically the same options. I might just drop into single screen multiplayer and just see what it gives you. If I just flip the controller sideways, it'll let me into the mode. There we go. Yeah, this is basically the same game. There aren't as many options for pretty much anything, and I don't get that. Weird. Hmm. I don't know, this game just feels really, really limited compared to Puyo Puyo Tetris, which is a much bigger game with so much more to it. it. I mean, it's supposed to be a focused sort of game that just does the Puyo Puyo part really well, but I don't think it does it as well as Puyo Puyo Tetris, because with the voices being different, and I think the rules are a lot more complicated in this game, but they aren't explained very well. Like, you have a tips button here, and that's about it. There isn't, there isn't like, a tutorial mode to teach you how to play the game like there is in PPT, and there's no adventure mode that walks you through the basics of the different mechanics and helps you learn as you play through the different acts and stuff. It, it just seems much like a much more limited and less good game. I suppose, theoretically, it's targeted at, literally, at Puyo Puyo champions who have played a lot of these games and already know what they're doing. But, as someone coming in from a game that looks almost identical to this, it's surprising how, like, unplayable I'm finding this relative to that game. Um, I don't think I would recommend this. It's not very expensive. It's like, it's like $15 over here. I think it's like $9 in the US, that sort of thing. Our dollars aren't worth as much. But even so, I don't think I would recommend getting this, because Puyo Puyo Tetris is just a much bigger game with so much more content, and it just plays so much better. Like, especially the way it handles the character animations and voice clips and stuff. It just it just makes the characters so much more engaging to play as compared to this game. Um, which just goes, you know, one, two, one, two, three. It goes up to 20 according to the sound test, which is ridiculous. Like, I'm not ever gonna get a train that good in order to actually hear all of those voice clips, so. 
<sighs> I, I just I just don't think this game is nearly as good. And it kind of baffles me because they're clearly working off a lot of the same stuff. If you look at this game and you look at Puyo Puy Tetris, they look very, very similar. And it's clear they were using the same engine, they've just adjusted the rules in some ways that I don't quite understand because there's no lesson mode in this game. Um Overall, I'm just I'm just disappointed, really. It doesn't add a whole lot, and it takes out a whole lot more, and it just doesn't seem to be nearly 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 as good a game as PPT. Um Which is really disappointing. Um I don't think I've done a first thoughts where my, like, ending thoughts were I wouldn't get this game up until now. This is the first one, and that's sad. But yeah, I mean, it looks a lot like Puyo Puyo Tetris, and it, it plays mostly like Puyo Puyo Tetris, but in some ways it's different, and those ways make it worse. Whereas PPT... It's just so much better. Like, you got... See, you've got voice clips Tetris. for this too. There were not voices saying Sega and Tetris. I mean, there wouldn't have been Tetris anywhere, but there wasn't a voice clip for Sega at the beginning of the other game, which was kind of foreshadowing of the fact that the overall game was going to be a lot less engaging. See, this one has lessons. So you can go in and learn, I'd like to know how to play Puyo Puyo, and it gives you, you know, guides and stuff. And then when you go into Tetris over here, you've got a bunch of guides and stuff. Fusion, there's more guides and stuff. I didn't bother with most of this, but it's there. And if you needed the lesson, you could go there and learn it, but Champions doesn't have anything like that, and it's clearly using different rules, so it seems like they've just made a bunch of missteps in that game's design. Um, whereas, you know, this one, you've got all these options to begin with. To be fair, several of these, like, are only there because Tetris is in this game too. Like, these three modes are essentially the same, except that there's Tetris involved. Party would work just as a Puyo Puyo mode. Uh, Big Bang could work just as a Puyo Puyo mode because it's basically fever mode continuously. Half of these are Puyo Puyo modes, which would work in Champions as well without any Tetris. And you don't get any of them. You just basically get Versus mode, which is this one over here. And you only get half of it. Uh, you, you mean, you get the two rule sets. You get Puyo Puyo 2 when you get Puyo Puyo Fever, but... It's just, it's just not, not as good. And you also don't get this adventure mode with, you know, the fully voiced cutscenes and all that wonderful stuff. Uh, it's, it's just kind of astonishing how much better this game is compared to the new game. Um, so yeah, if you want to play Puyo Puyo on your Switch, get PPT. Don't, don't get Champions. <laughs> that's, that's basically my takeaway here, because I am supremely disappointed with the offering Champions has compared to Puyo Puyo Tetris. Um, you might not agree with me, but, you know, that's how I feel. <laughs> uh, leave your own thoughts in the comments, I suppose. I, I mean, again, I've only played these two Puyo Puyo games. Champions might be a better game in terms of being faithful to the franchise or something, because I have never played any of the others, so I can't tell. But of these two alone, this game is, in my, you know, personal, humble opinion, vastly superior to Champions. There's just so much more content, and so much more to do, and it's just much more engaging to play, even if you're only playing, you know, just versus mode, and you go Puyo Puyo versus Puyo Puyo. I'll do it now, just to demonstrate. I don't Puyos. Versus you can't Puyos. Play Destiny. Default settings. See, it looks very similar. I've turned on the um, retro pack here, but otherwise very similar. <laughs> but when you start clearing things, which I will shortly. Hopefully. <laughs> I can see it. So it's you get coming. you get unique voice clips for each character as they do things. Instead of just one, two, and I don't understand the change. I mean, the voice clips exist. They had different voices for the characters. Maybe they couldn't re-record all of these, these different no. clips, but they had some of the clips, and they were already like we heard sign and cosign in the sound test. So I, I don't know what they, they did. It's just really weird how much worse 
that other game is than this one, which is really, really good and nice. Um, no, in my in my personal opinion, which which may differ from your personal opinion, and that's valid. I can see it. But I just I can just, see it. I'm just really confused as to why this game has so much more to it. offer than that it's other game. Coming. I mean, this one's probably more expensive too, I and that game is supposed it. to just be Bigo Bigo, but I can see it. It just doesn't offer as good a Bigo Bigo experience as this game does. I can see it. I'm getting a butt kick because I'm talking I while I'm trying to do it. this instead of just it's playing coming. the game. But, um, you know, it's 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 just it's not as good a game. It. It's coming. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, between all the different voice clips you can hear here, that this game has a lot more personality to it than, than, um, Champions does. I don't know why they made that change. It's just, it's not good. Uh, I believe the Retro Pack and all that are still available, so I could still get all the colors and the white stuff, but... No. <sighs> yeah, I'm just... I'm very disappointed with what Champions has to offer. I've said that already, but I, I really am. And it's just a bit sad. It. It's coming now. And a little confusing, considering the much earlier game had these really good voice clips and stuff, and it has so much personality in the gameplay. Whereas I should have predicted this. Like, th these little animations aren't in the other game either, like... Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, you can, you can see... Well, I mean, you can't, probably can't see, but you can hear that this game has these unique voice clips for each character. Uh, like you've got Dragon Tail and all that sort of stuff. Whereas, in Champions, everyone says one, two, and it's just, it's not, it's not as engaging, and I don't understand the change. It's very weird to me. Dang it. I can see it. It's coming. Hurry! Hmm. I don't know, I mean, I wouldn't say Champions is necessarily a terrible game, but... Compared to Paper Your Tetris, it's not as good. And at least in, in my in my it's summa in my in my yeah. summation of how these games are, you know, it's not an objective viewpoint or anything. It's just yeah, my I thoughts. But I just think that that game is this game I is better than it. that game. It's coming. <sighs> what me? Even if I'm not actually that good at the game to begin with. I, I can see it. It's coming. It is still a lot more like, fun and engaging and it. personality than, than this game is. I mean this this, this game is the one that's full personality, you know what I'm saying? In the back I don't know. I don't know. See See, so, like this game, when you when someone wins, they have this little line that they say, which is unique for each character, and that isn't in Champions. You saw that it just had them doing a little victory pose thing rather than having this. I'm not I'm not really sure why the change. It's weird. <sighs> I mean, Champions has more characters from like the Puyo universe because this game had. If we have a look at the character list again. This game, about half the characters, uh, like over this side, are unique characters to this game. Is that half? Mm, about a bit less than half, honestly. Actually, how many are there? 5, 10, 15, 20, 24. There's only about six of them that are unique to this game. Oh, seven. Seven. So, no, 24. That, that's pretty decent. Like, most of these characters are popular, presumably. Booyah Booyah characters, and... Like, I saw them all in the other games, so they must be pretty popular, but there were more characters there, but... The characters just didn't have as much to differentiate them. In terms of, like, personality and... And voice clips and stuff, and it's just... I don't know, I, I don't... I don't understand the change. <sighs> 
Anyway, um, so that was Puyo Puyo Tetris. This was Puyo Puyo Champions, which, despite just being released right now, I don't think is as, as compelling or as good a game as Puyo Puyo Tetris. I, I imagine it's more affordable if you want, you know, a Puyo Puyo experience on a budget or something. Uh, I think this game is like a full price title, and this is just fifteen, ten dollars, something like that. Uh, but it's it it doesn't offer as much as it could for that amount for that for that for for what it what it is, I guess. Kind of, it's just like the presentation is there, but just it's just missing certain things that this game has, and that make it really really good. And I don't understand why. It's just it's sad. <sighs> anyway, uh, so that was P.O.P. Your Champions, a game I would not recommend, surprisingly enough. Um, I didn't really expect to play a game that I can actively unrecommend in first thoughts, but apparently I have. Um, I, I would say not, not to play P.O.P. Your Champions, because you can play P.O.P. Your Tetris on the same platform, and get a whole lot more out of it. If you look at my profile here, you can see... How much I've gotten out of Puyo Puyo Tetris. It's it's really an excellent game, and this one just doesn't measure up in my opinion, which is very sad, and I'm disappointed about that. I mean I know I was expecting going in that it wouldn't have Tetris, but it also removes a lot from the Puyo Puyo side of the experience compared to the compared to the previous title, in my you know, personal opinion. <sighs> So that's that, um, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, um, I, I hope this review didn't sound too, like, unreasonably, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, I mean, I'm not familiar with the series as a whole, just these two games, so hopefully the differences weren't, like, what made Champions much, much better, but I don't see that because I've only played these two games, that sort of thing, hopefully that didn't happen. Um, if it did, I'm sorry about that, but, you know, I can't do much about it having only played these two games. Um, and yeah, that's it for this video, and see ya! <sighs> hmm...